But on that note, uh, of course, we've been talking about AI, AI, AI uh, all the time in IT. It is obviously a dominant driver for investment right now. And one of the stories that you shared with me prior to this uh, today's call was around uh, Microsoft and OpenAI apparently starting to have some issues working together, which isn't quite a surprise as as we've talked about in the past. But uh, you know what got your attention this time around? <laughs> well, so this is a New York Times article. It's a fairly in depth one. It's a it's a good sort of you know New York Times doesn't get into tech all that often, but when they do, they go deep. And so it was it was a useful thing. Um, but as you said, we've been talking about this for a while, so no nothing earth shattering in terms of you know for those of us that follow it, this has been bubbling for quite some time, and OpenAI going you know becoming a, a true. Uh, for public or for profit rather company uh, recently sort of solidified that 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 Microsoft and open OpenAI are very clearly competitive partners. Um, so the article is interesting for the sort of inside baseball aspect of it. But there, the the thing that really brought my attention, like I almost skipped it until I got to the end of the article, and it talks about how in the in the midst of this sort of fraying of the relationship and the the tension of the contractual obligations. Um, that there's this odd clause. And the clause in the contract says that if OpenAI develops AGI, artificial general intelligence, which is this debatable term, but effectively is supposed to mean a an, an artificial intelligence that is surpassing human capability and has that degree of autonomy, um, that if they were to do that, then the contract is avoided, that they can get out of the contract um, and the original, remember, they started as a nonprofit and they were supposed to be this ambivalent sort of organization. The original intent was that if they developed this groundbreaking technology that had such a great impact on the world that they didn't want a big for profit entity like Microsoft to have it. But of course, now they're the for profit entity. And so it's kind of ironic, um, particularly because in the contract, it's the OpenAI board alone that apparently gets to decide what's AGI. So it was just sort of like, huh, that's kind of this really, you know, baffling almost or comical thing that's in the contract. And as uh, and I guess the question is, does that if you're a CIO, should that give you pause? Should that, you know, factor into decisions? Yes, I found it bizarre how OpenAI came out with ChatGPT, obviously groundbreaking technology uh, by any standard coming up on its uh, second year uh, out on the market. and then how quickly things have changed afterwards. It is really uncommon for a startup, even even in the startup world for things to change this quickly. Uh, for instance, most of their management team is now gone. Elliot Sitzkever, after trying to fire the CEO, ended up leaving and doing his own startup. Uh, their uh, seat, uh, well, their this Mira Marathi also, you know, she ended up leaving. Will probably end up doing her own startup. Uh, basically, all of the uh, technical leads are basically leaving left and right, probably because they were true believers in the nonprofit aspect of OpenAI, which has really disappeared with the influx of investment that has come in. So in light of that, Microsoft has to be thinking, we know this is a ticking time bomb. Obviously, the you know from the CEO on down, Microsoft is a very smart company. They are savvy. They understand tech. Uh, this new generation under Satya Nadella obviously is living in the current generation of technology in every respect. I have nothing but respect for Microsoft's executive team. So they're not stupid people. They know exactly what's going on much more deeply than we do. At the same time, uh, this idea of artificial general intelligence has always been very iffy for me, because simply because computers being better than humans at things, yeah, that's been a thing for some time. If I'm going to try, try to find a large prime number, I'm not going to do it in my head. <laughs> I'm not going to do it by hand. Uh, I'm going to use a computer, right? They're, they're much better at math and computational skills than we will ever be. So in that respect, sure, artificial intelli intelligence has far surpassed humanity in, in many areas already, yet uh, they're not good at thinking yet. So it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, what I think, <laughs> well, I do think it's interesting because on the one hand, like I still use ChatGPT 
ChatGPT, the OpenAI models, much more than I use any of the others. Mm -hmm. And that's a function of two things. One is it's baked into more things, right? So one of the tools I use, I don't have another option. It's they have, they're using the open, the open AI API. Mm -hmm. um, and in another one where I do have access to all of them, um, I use for like basic search, I use the perplexity engine, which of course is based on, um, on actually, which I think it's based on metas, but anyway, um, and, and, you know, and I sometimes use Claude, Anthropics Claude, but I find actually that OpenAI still has the edge in terms of giving me the best results, the things that I don't have to finesse the prompt and stuff as much. But one of the things the article points out, which I think is really a well-taken point, is that the underlying cost and the infrastructure necessary to do this is literally something that these organizations, if you are not a Microsoft, an Amazon, a Google, that you can actually do, right? All of these, including OpenAI, are leveraging the, 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 um, the hyperscalers to deliver on that those platforms. And until that changes, you know, time is on the side of the Microsofts, the Amazons, the Googles of the world in this race. And so we'll see how long OpenAI is able to hold out and how long they're able to hold their advantage. Um, it's going to be an interesting period. Yes, but obviously OpenAI has every financial interest in declaring AGI as soon as possible. <laughs> and Microsoft using OpenAI as a research lab basically has every interest in trying to keep OpenAI as basically a research subsidiary or a research lab for all of the co-pilot stuff and everything else that Microsoft wants to do in AI. So butting of heads at the highest levels of tech. <laughs> but what I think...